Hello, it's Katherine Maley, author of Your Aesthetic Practice, and I am your unofficial cosmetic patient attraction and conversion specialist because it's getting a lot more difficult to just attract when you still need to do the other component, which is convert. So today we're going to talk about summer strategies to avoid the slump because he, summer is heating up, but your phones don't have to cool down if you put some creative strategies in place to keep your patients coming back throughout the summer as well as the entire year. So just because your practice surgeries may slow down during the summer months doesn't mean your patients are necessarily on hiatus from all aesthetic enhancement. Maybe some of it though. The good news is your aesthetic patients want to look good now and next month and next season. So while they may not be interested in some of your services because they are in a bathing suit and shorts for the next three months, they could very well be interested in other treatments and procedures that will keep them looking great on their vacation and at family barbecues. So here's what I hear. I start getting the phone calls this time of year, and here's what they say. Things are slowing down in the summer. My staff needs to stay busy because I'm still paying all the overhead on the practice, and there are too many holes in my schedule. And what I say to that is some of this is just stinking thinking. And in the old days, in the old days, just a few years ago, it probably may have been true that things slowed down in the summer. However, the world has turned upside down with all sorts of variations, which I'll go through in a second. So tr open up your mind and start thinking differently. And if you keep saying it's slow in the summer, then it's going to be slow in the summer. Why not change your mindset and say, how can we stay busy in the summer? Much better frame of mind uh, to work with. Because here's what you're about to discover. What you can do now to heat up your summer profits. Simple strategies to boost your skincare to surgery revenues. And then where to focus your efforts during the dog days of summer. I will tell you, I get phone calls that say, I'm not going to market in the summer. Wow, that is so not the way you do this industry in today's world, it's much too competitive for you to take the summer off because I guarantee your competitors are not taking the summer off and they're going to grab your patients if you don't stay on top of this. You never want a patient to go for a whole season without hearing from you. That's just, that's not a good strategy at all and you're going to be hurting yourself uh, from the following months. So just in case you don't know who I am because oftentimes my emails get, you know, sent around, forwarded, and the staff's on here, and you may not know me, but I'm, I am the author of a popular book for our industry called Your Aesthetic Practice, What Your Patients Are Saying, where I interviewed a whole bunch of cosmetic patients to find out what they wanted and didn't want, so it's a very good read. And then I also do a lot of speaking throughout the world, actually. I love when I'm invited internationally. And then I um, have been interviewed by the New York Times and the ABC News channel um, because of my book. And then I do a lot of writing for the magazine, so please follow me. And then a lot of people ask me where I'm at, and I'm in Sausalito, California. It is a gorgeous day today. And uh, here's the secret about Sausalito. The tourists come in the summer, and that's when our fog comes in um, because of the microclimate the way it is. The real secret is to wait until summer's over and come in September and October, and it's clear and gorgeous. And um, I highly recommend a helicopter ride while you're here. You will see some unbelievable real estate from the air that is just breathtaking. Okay, so let's get back to how to heat up the summer profits, okay? So let's follow the trends because I promise you the whole world did not go on vacation this summer and they didn't take the, the summer off. I promise you that. So here are the social trends. And this happens year round. There's a change in marital status. Some people are suddenly single or they are divorced or getting divorced and they need to get back in the game. Or you know how things have turned upside down with the economy. You know, jobs are changing. You're either starting a new job, you lost your job, you've got to get back out into the marketplace. There are social events, of course, in the summer, and those are always fun. They're barbecues, there's summer travel, it's family get together. So the social trends are still in place in the summer just as well as throughout the year. Then there are economic trends. You know, a lot of businesses slow down and some of them even close. I live near the Silicon Valley and some of them have mandatory uh, two-week vacations in the summer. So that's the only time certain people can have something done and afford a little downtime. 
And think about the educational system. Look at the teachers and the professors. I mean, boy, talk about a nice job. They get the summers off, and that could be the only time they can have anything done. Um, also, if you're a salesperson, bonus payouts happen quarterly, and that would be June 30th, so there's some money coming to them that they're dying to spend on themselves. There's also divorce settlements coming in where there's a lot of money. By the way, one of the best facelift candidates is a woman who is six months out from a divorce, and it's because the divorce settlement came in and now she's got some money to burn. And then there's still inheritance. It's not talked about much, but the baby boomers, um, they came from families that came from the Depression, so there was a lot of money saved, and the inheritance that they're getting is in the trillions, so there's plenty of economic money out there for them to spend on themselves. And then, of course, you know, this is such a double-edged sword, technology trends. It is shocking how much technology has changed the world of surgery because now the patients have been told, oh, you don't need plastic surgery. You just need our laser or filler or whatnot. Um, that's an issue <clears throat> because some of the patients are holding off on surgery and hoping they never need it because they're afraid of it. And this technology just keeps advancing. So there's less downtime, less scarring, it's less invasive, it's less pain, it's cheaper, it's faster. I mean, you can't beat that. So use that to your advantage. You're never going to fight that because that is what the consumer wants, right? But eventually, they're going to need surgery to uh, fix a problem, but you're trying to work with this and work with the patient in their mindset where they're at at the moment. So here's what I'm going to recommend for you. Stick to the lowest hanging fruit in the summer, and that's always your current patient list of patients who've already given you money. I mean, there's a really good uh, thought process. If somebody has given you money once because they want to look and feel good, they could, they'll give it to you again and again and again, especially in our industry as the aging process moves on, right? So a patient, a cosmetic patient has endless needs year-round, and I call this the stairway up and down. So they may have come to you for something so simple like a peel and retail products, but once they get used to you and they're more comfortable with aesthetic enhancement, they'll work their way up this staircase to lasers and then Botox and fillers and body shaping and then surgery. Or the other way around. They'll start with surgery, get something done, and now they're kind of hooked. And now they'll work their way down the staircase to fillers and Botox and lasers and peels and retail products. So the thing I love about our industry is once you have a patient, you could have them for life if indeed you keep stay in touch, give them a great result, and give them a great experience. <clears throat> so let's talk about the strategies that are working now. I'm going to lay out a bunch of them for you here, and I don't want to overdo this, but just pick two or three of your favorites, and then here's the secret execute them like now like in June don't fiddle around just get the strategies going I'm handing them to you on a silver platter I'm going to give you some resources that are going to help you now and the rest of the year actually for a career time so please the secret to marketing is to actually do it not just think about it not just talk about it but actually execute it so here's the first one if you ever hear your patients say I didn't know you did that and they had it done elsewhere, that means your in-house signage is way off. I know in cosmetic practices, they have a tendency to put up pictures of, let's say, the surgeon's kid's art. <laughs> I've seen that. Or the wife's an artist, or they have nature pictures. I personally think that office should be focused on one thing, and that is aesthetic rejuvenation. So I would have a very pretty, eye-catching, big menu of services poster outlining in detail all of the treatments and procedures you offer. And that would include surgical, as well as non-invasive, as well as laser treatments, as well as skincare products. I mean, really lay it out for that patient and then make sure they see it, no matter which room they're in. I guarantee, they do not know everything you offer. So you are leaving money on the table because they're actually going to a competitor or a med spa down the street or God knows where because they didn't know you had all of that. So 
it's time for you to become the uh, one umbrella, the one-stop shop for them so they can get most or all of their aesthetic rejuvenation treatments from you rather than split it up and give some to you and some to someone else. You know, the reason patients are on the internet is because they're looking for information, right? The issue with that is they're, they're confusing themselves because they're looking for an answer from a credible source and what do they always want to know? What does this procedure entail? What's the downtime, the price, the pain, the process? Why not this summer, if you've got some time, put together some special reports or patient guides explaining all of that for each of your procedures? That way, you might actually stop them from going online and confusing the heck out of themselves because this patient who's in your office already trusts you. They're there. So why not give them this information in any way they want it? For example, you can do it in writing. And what I love about special reports and patient guides is you can then split it up and make blog posts out of it because content is king, you know, on Google. You can also turn it into a press release and you can even have the surgeon do videotapes of FAQs. It's just a great way to give the patient what they want, which is information, and so they're comfortable enough to move forward. I really like floor banners a lot. I learned this, I took this idea, actually I swiped and deployed it from all of the um, exhibit uh, halls that I go to during the conferences, the medical conferences. They always have these huge tall um, floor banners and I thought what a great idea because it's got a ton of real estate on there and it doesn't take up much room at all in your practice. So you can set it up in the corner and it can be big and bright and I would actually change it for each season. So this one happens to be get your curves back and show some skin this summer. And then you always have a before and after photo. And I love to say, ask us today. Ask us today. Because you want the patient to start that conversation rather than you feel like you're pushing something on somebody. Um, there's a saying in marketing, we say, Nobody likes to be sold, but they love to buy. Boy, isn't that the truth? So these kind of in-house signage strategies help them a lot get that conversation started in their own heads, so then they're prompted to ask you for more information. And I love these because you can cross-promote all of your services using these. Another great strategy that's called the Ask Me About tool is a digital photo frame. These are everywhere now and they're easy they're affordable they're what i like is they're easy to use in the old days i couldn't figure out how to use the darn thing and i needed some you know technical person to do it and now they've become so simple you can get these digital photo frames for under 100 dollars at any best buy or anywhere they're they're everywhere on, on amazon and what you want to do is show off your surgical procedures by just showing silent i prefer silent because you don't want to, the patient does not want to feel like you're pushing something on them. So when you do it silently and you're just showing photos, photos really do tell a picture or tell a story for the patient who sees, let's say for example, these big thighs that she has and now they have smaller thighs. Wow, that's amazing. Or she's got, you know, you see the pictures or the guy who wants the, the six pack and boom, he sees that. The point of this and the strategy to it is you are putting these at eye level when a cosmetic patient is in the exam chair and let's say you're preparing Botox or filler or lasers, it doesn't matter, whatever you're doing, and they're just kind of stewing, sitting there. They can look over at this digital photo frame where the photos are going around and around silently and I guarantee seven to ten of them will comment on it. And that's what starts the discussion for additional services when summer's over and they're ready for some surgery. Okay? <laughs> this is a really cute idea. It's a check-in and check-out display. Um, I think so much money is lost at check-in and check-out because you're not being strategic about it. 
I would make a very fun display for every season. So for example, you can go to Michael's or any craft store and put this together. It's a box, it's got sand, you put sunglasses and thongs and an umbrella in there, you load it up with your skincare products, you include your gift certificates, and now your staff has got to be savvy enough to ask the right questions when the patients comment on it. I guarantee they're going to comment on this because it's so darn cute. You, how can you walk out to check out and not say something about it? But that's when your staff has to be trained to say, oh, can I get you some sunblock? Or did you need a refill on your retail products, you know, the, your skincare products? Or, and or, did you need a quick gift? Because a lot of people are going places like birthdays or barbecues or weddings or whatever and they do need a quick gift and they can buy a gift certificate so now this has done so many things you have increased their order size for the day and you've got new patients out of it if they bought the gift certificates or if they bought some skincare products for themselves and others it's a great strategy you also want to have a referral display with takeaway cards at the checkout counter. When their wallet is opened, because they're paying their bill for the day, their wallet is open, they look over, and sure enough, the sign says, the greatest compliment you could ever pay us is to refer our practice to your friends and family. Please take a referral card today. That's the easiest way, <clears throat> excuse me, that's the easiest way in the world to get a new patient is through your current patients, right? I think you need a lot more strategies to make that happen organically but strategically. You could double your practice if every one of your patients just referred one of their friends. So you need to give them props and reminders to do that. And I think you should have a $50 referral reward card and it says we want more patients just like you and you're you're um, not fee splitting, you're just giving them a reward, <clears throat> a simple gift card when they refer their friend. And then their friend also gets a get to know us gift card. That's the way to do this. And you're able to track it because it's got a paper trail to it. Please do this. Now email marketing is super popular. However, boy, it's getting more and more and more difficult to get that thing into their inbox because Google wants to, you know, put it in different boxes. It's just getting really complicated to get that thing opened and even seen in their inbox. So you have to do everything you can. And here are a couple pointers. You want to make it themed, you know, have a theme. It's got to be fun, quick, entertaining, compelling, informative. It, you've got to do everything you can to get that thing opened. So when I say catchy headline, I mean the subject line has got to be catchy to, for them to even see it in their inbox, click on it, read it, and then call you. That's a lot. As a matter of fact, the email stats are pretty bad at this point. The average email open rate is only 19.9%. What's bad about that is you think you're nurturing your current patients. Well, you're missing over 80% of them. So you've got to do what you can here. But, um, but I do love email marketing. It's just you've got to really add some compelling components to it, such as special offers and an expiration date. We have a full module of that in our online learning center at morepatientsacademy.com. So we'll talk more about that. I love slice and dice letters and what I mean by that is there is so much gold in your patient database of patients who have been in before you haven't seen for a while uh, maybe they left and they would and they're dying to come back because they didn't love the result they got but now they're embarrassed to say so um, who knows but I do know this the patient who knows likes and trusts you is always 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 your best target you can continue to go after the internet stranger patient from the sphere out there in the world the internet world or and or you can do both go after the new patients on the internet and hope for the best but then certainly keep dipping back into the same pool of your current patients because the aging process is happening they're gonna come back if you give them a reason to so I would actually have a meeting, go through some ideas of the patients you know very well there and segment them and send them a very specific message 
for a very specific group of people. For example, maybe there were people on the fence who wanted surgery, but they weren't ready to pull the trigger. So you send them a letter talking about a new finance program that was just introduced by your finance company and that could be just what they needed to jump off the fence and come on back and get it done. You can have all sorts of summer offers. Um, I love the one where the surgeon is going on vacation or he's on vacation and here's how we do it. When a surgeon is going to be leaving on vacation, the coordinator needs to be calling those patients a month ahead of time at least saying just heads up the doctor's going to be on vacation in July, so if you want done what you want done, let's get that. Let's get you in here now. What you're looking for is that sense of urgency. Most patients, most human beings, just don't want to make a decision if they don't have to. It's just the way we're wired. But they're compelled to when there's a good reason to. So if the surgeon's going on vacation, that's a really good one. Another really good one is the surgeon's on vacation and we're throwing a party or we're, we're going to have our own offer for like let's say minimally invasive procedures. That's also a great idea. So here's the secret to slice and dice letters. You pick a target market such as let's say you pick teachers for example and you give them a really great summer offer with a finance easy to finance program and you mail that out. Okay, But that's just step number one. You never send direct mail without knowing that you're going to be calling them to follow up on it. But you never say, I'm calling to follow up. <laughs> never. And I have many modules on this, how to make a, a good phone call. Because most, let's face it, most of us have call reluctance. And the reason is you're afraid you're bothering them. You're afraid you're being pushy. Um, you, just, you just don't like the rejection of it. Well, the reason is you don't have a script and you don't have a process. And I go into that a whole lot more in my online learning center. But in this case, you send out the letter and here's step two with the call. And you're simply going to say, using a really good voice tone, Hello, Sarah. Dr. Smith sent you a letter last week telling you about a summer special we're having. Did you have any questions for me? Or should I give you the few dates we still have available? And then zip it and let the caller tell you what she thinks about that. It's so conversational. Did I sound pushy? No, I was conversational, but I used my voice to keep it fun and friendly. You will learn so much if you just say this and then let her answer. If nothing else, let's say she actually honestly says, you know what, thanks so much for that, but you know what, I'm just not ready yet. I think I might have the finances together or I think I've got to wait until November for whatever reason. You, what you're trying to do is get some kind of an answer so you either keep them alive and keep at it or you know put them on hold for a little bit if they say that but then and I go into this a lot more in my training but then you want to get them on the books for another call to catch up with them later down you know later in the year. Okay. In the summer, you're absolutely going to need compelling offers to get people off the beach and into your practice, period. So humans, we do very well when we're given a reason why we want to do something now rather than wait. So come up with some fun, compelling offers such as free sunblock with your laser treatment, minimally invasive body contouring, introductory offer, free Botox with skin tightening. I, I'll just tell you personally, I've had skin tightening twice and I am very underwhelmed by it. So frankly, what I would do is put together free Botox and filler with skin tightening. I would call it your summer skin kit and I would, um, at least the Botox and the filler will work and the skin tightening, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but I was really underwhelmed with the results of that. Um, you can also offer free micropenning with injectable. The reason I like kits or packages is because you're trying to put together your own signature packages, give them a wow result, and keep them from pulling that thing apart and price shopping just the Botox or just the filler. Doesn't that drive you nuts? How much is your Botox? So the, when you, the way around that is to develop some packages so they're not pulling it apart. It's a full-blown kit or a package. Refer a friend per cards are terrific too. I would spend a whole lot more time in the summer trying to figure out how to get their friends to come in. Let's say people are more uh, relaxed in the summer and they're hanging out more and they're more social. 
great. It's a great time for both of them to come on in and get something done. So a two for one friend program. Um, this one says buy a package of two facials, one for you and one for your friend and save $50. I also, facials are tough because they take up a room for a long time and then you've got two patients that are taking up a big room. I personally would probably go with peels. Just, you know, it's just something simple and fast. I also love body Botox and I got this from that ad, you remember Got Milk? So I just said, got wrinkles, got a friend. Bring a friend to your next Botox appointment and you both get an instant $50 gift card towards your treats towards your treatment. Ask us for details. But you know what? Don't make it complicated. There are no details. It's just bring a friend. <laughs> like That's as, as simple as it is. Just bring a friend and you both get an instant $50 gift card towards your treatment. That's easy, simple, easy breezy. And that's how you get new patients. Wouldn't you pay $50 all day long for a new cosmetic patient? And the answer is yes. A good cosmetic patient is worth tens of thousands of dollars to you a really good ones worth hundreds of thousands of dollars to you <laughs> so all day long you want to pay the fifty dollars to get a new patient it's so much easier than playing the internet game when a friend brings a friend to introduce you as their go-to aesthetic solution that doesn't get any better that's how you develop a loyal fan club and you know what I would do? I would try in-house seminars and events. By the way, your vendors can be super helpful with this. Typically, at this point, you're just doing some fun, let's say, skincare series events. We used to do that a lot, like when the surgeon went on vacation, the um, vendor would put together the skincare. And then um, it's intimate, it's face-to-face -face time. You can do demonstrations of micropenning or peels or injectables. And you can um, have testimonials. I love having patients there who are the walking, talking testimonials so you can see and talk and touch, you know, the results that they got. That's how the audience says, huh, I'm looking right at somebody who's had it done and yes, I want the same. Um, it, you know, I really like the intimate events, the smaller intimate events in the summer because it's a good time when things slow down, like we all slow down for a minute in the summer. It's not such a big hustle bustle. It is a really good time to have face time, solid face time with the staff, with the surgeon. So the patients get more comfortable moving up that staircase to surgery. It's also a fantastic time. Let's say in the summer, you say, I mean, no, all year long, this is what I hear all year long, we can't update the photos because we're too busy. We're just too busy, busy, busy. Well, then you can't have it both ways. If you're gonna slow down in the summer, what a great time to update the photos. You do know social media, the way it is, and social proof is everything in today's world your photos have got to be killer and a whole bunch of them and uh, now is a perfect time for you to update them get new folders get new get the iPads going put the photos on there organize them clean up your office I can't tell you how many offices I'm in where you no longer see those boxes sitting out in under the desks but people visiting see all of that they see all these details You've got to clean up your office. It's also a really good time to paint or get new furniture or get new artwork. Um, also organize files. What a great time to really clean up your act, actually. <laughs> Summer's also the perfect time to sharpen the saw. And this is where you better your best. Offer a lot more training so your staff is just killer. You know, you're all consistently saying the same things about the products, about the procedures, about the FAQs. You're improving your systems, you're perfecting your processes. And I wanna be helpful to that too in my um, online learning center. I want you guys to get the online learning center and really spend some time on there. There's something there for everybody. And it's that ongoing, never ending training and improving little bits at a time that really catapults you away from your competitors who are just plugging along. You are on your game and perfecting it constantly. So here's what I would do. I would improve your processes by looking at every step in the cosmetic patient 
process and experience with you and figuring out how can you improve on it. From the time they inquire, which means when they call you or they email you, what happens next? So you've got to handle that call with finesse. How can you better do that? So they actually are convertible to an appointment. And then once they have an appointment, what's their office visit like with you? Are you guys on your game? Are they feeling confident that you are a well-oiled machine? And then once they're in your office, how do you go about educating them so they're much more comfortable moving forward? And then during the consultation, what happens when the patient is passed off between, let's say, the MA to the nurse to the surgeon to the coordinator? What's that like for them? And then who is your converting queen there? Who's actually able to convert? Because nothing counts until the patient says yes. And then once they say yes and they have something done, what, what do you do in terms of following up to get testimonials and referrals? So I would really go through each one of these systems and really perfect the processes in each one of those. And for heaven's sakes, would you please fix your phones? Jeez, I, you know, phones are just going to be the end of me. I actually lose sleep over phones because you can have the most kill, killer um, practice. Everything's on except the phones are terrible. So no one's even ever going to know that because they can't get past the phone experience that they have with you. So really take a look at your phones. Make sure you're answering them correct. Make sure you're answering the phone for one. Um, these phone trees from hell are just not working anymore. People are just too um, busy and um, they don't have the attention span anymore to go through step, you know, dial five, dial four, dial three, dial two, dial one. Jeez, they can't remember. They don't want to remember any of that. They'll just move on to the next choice. So please fix your phones. Um, I offer all sorts of tools for that, but I have these five phone fixes and tracking forms. You can get all the details. Um, there's a module um, called how to convert more consult, I mean, I'm sorry, how to convert more callers to appointments and it's at morepatientsacademy.com. You really want to get good at these phones, please. And then you want to fix your no-shows. You know, no-shows are really killer. And a lot of you now do charge a um, consultation fee, which I think is a great idea, especially if they're coming from the internet and they're stranger patients. They don't know you, and there's a really good chance they're not going to show up. But there are always strategies to help. Here's one for example. If somebody uh, schedules a consultation with you, you want to go ahead and send them back a shock and awe package. And if you were really on your game, you would put it in the mail. But if you're cheap and want something done fast, <laughs> you can just do it digitally. But the point is to bring your website back to them, but offline. You don't need them going back on the website to check you out and then they get lost in all your competitors' websites. That's not a good uh, strategy. So instead, you put together a nice package about, um, about us, uh, your menu of services so they know that you can offer all sorts of solutions for their problems. Lots of before and after photos uh, with a lot of social proof in testimonials. Also financing programs and a cancellation policy and how to find your office. All of that helps them get to know you better, at least digitally, and then more excited to come visit you to learn more. You also want to fix your conversion rates. This is something that I'm working on more and more as the years go on, as the competition heats up. I have done a tremendous amount of work to help coordinators close more. And here's what I think has happened. I think the coordinators have been told that they need to be very nice to patients. And while that is true, they also need solid presentation and converting skills to get to that yes. Honestly, nothing counts until the patient says yes and gives you money. You can be the nicest people on the planet, but also the brokest because you don't have a good converting uh, ratio going. I've got so many tools on that, but here's one that I will just give you. There's so many more at my online learning center. In today's world, I highly, highly recommend making a pre-consultation call to that patient who's coming in to meet you and not you, the surgeon call, the coordinator calls, the one who's gonna to have to ask for the decision, 
she needs to be the caller and she's asking four very specific things. I'll just tell you what they are quickly. Number one, plan on visiting us for an hour. I've been in offices where everyone's talking so long and making the patient wait so long that they can't even wait for the quote. So plan on spending an hour. Um, we offer financing, so don't worry about that. Bring your calendar so we can pick some dates should you decide to move forward. And is anyone else gonna be helping you with this decision? Perhaps a friend or a spouse, please bring them along as well. I have all sorts of, a, of strategies that go into great detail on this in my online learning center called morepatientsacademy.com. So it's got 16 online training modules. And then I also include the PowerPoint slides so you can uh, move along with me. And I'm giving you the exact words to say in scripts. So you can literally just print those out and you're ready to go. And there's no lifetime membership. There's no, I'm sorry, it's all lifetime membership. There are no membership fees and there's no monthly charges. It's just one flat fee forever because you will always need training forever and ever. I'm sure you've heard the expression repetition is the mother of learning. These modules are short and just fantastic for constant, never-ending improvement. That's how you win in today's world with this competitive nature we're in. So the 16 modules include differentiate you from your competitors, how your staff can market you while you're in surgery, dramatically increase your email results, run your practice like a business, convert callers to appointments, comfortably convert consultations, follow up after the consultation that didn't book, set up a reliable and predictable marketing plan, hold a patient event that is fun and profitable, market to all generations without going broke, double your revenues this year, position your physician as the best choice, get 10 more five-star patient reviews within 30 days, how to sell retail, and then advertise to get a response. Now here's what Paula Millard said of Millard Plastic Surgery. More Patients Academy has been well worth the cost we purchased a program specifically to provide staff training while Dr. Millard is out of the office. I also plan to use it for new employees. It's a cost-effective way to provide ongoing training without having to travel to meetings. In the first module, we had several ideas for things that we could immediately implement in order to improve conversion rates and distinguish ourselves from our competitors. I highly recommend this investment in your practice. And then here's Stephanie, she's the coordinator for Burke's Plastic Surgery. She said, Catherine was so helpful to me in learning how to be the best coordinator I could be when I joined this busy cosmetic practice. Thanks to Catherine's training, I increased my knowledge, used her strategies, and my conversions went up enough to now be labeled the converting superstar in our practice. Good job, Stephanie. So here's what you get. I'm gonna play a little video here, go. Hi everyone, my name is Brittany and I'm the Client Relations Manager here at Cosmetic Image Marketing. And I just wanted to give you guys an inside scoop on what you get when you join us. So moments after you purchase More Patients Academy, you'll receive an email containing your username and password. So you'll go ahead and log in. And once you do, you're going to see all of Catherine's easy to learn training modules at your fingertips. So these have really proven to be extremely helpful in attracting, converting and retaining patients and I just want to show you an example of what it looks like so click inside of one of the modules and you'll see you can watch this video at your convenience but you can also download the accommodating slides right here so that way you can follow along without having to take notes these are always usually about 30 minutes or so and they're just perfect for consuming during your staff's lunch break or you can do it together as a team these webinars are packed full of scripts for your staff and easy strategies so you and your team can pretty much execute on your own. You can use this comprehensive library every time a new staff person joins you and it never really hurts to watch them over and over again. So don't miss out on the wealth of information available here for you and your staff and we'd love to have you join us at morepatientsacademy.com. Thanks. So Thanks, Brittany. So here's More Patients Academy. Now you probably wonder how much it, it's gonna cost. Well, let me just put it this way. If I consult for your practice one-on-one, -on -one, that's a $15,000 investment because I have to personally train you and go through your processes, and I do a lot of hand-holding with that, but it's $15,000. Now, another way I help you is typically throughout the year, I hold these live trainings one topic at a time, and those are $597 each. 
So if you wanted to attend all of those, those are $9,552 for live training. But this More Patients Academy that you're going to have 24-7 anytime you want it, it's only two payments of $9.97. I mean, that is a bargain. And there are no monthly membership fees, and it's just one fee forever. So for the rest of your career, you will have this information. So when you get new phone staff, you have, let me train them. You get new uh, coordinators, let me train them. You want to set your practice up like a business for the surgeon, surgeon, I'm going to train you on that as well. Um, how to hold events, all of that is sitting right here for you at your disposal in your office or your home whenever you want it. Now I'm also including three free bonuses. One of them is the best cosmetic patient marketing plan is a freebie and that alone will pay for this thing 10 times over because I'm telling you exactly how you set up a patient marketing plan so you're busy all year long. And you also get my e-digital book called Your Aesthetic Practice, What Your Patients Are Saying, which is a really good read. And then you also get a one-hour strategy call with me personally. But I would prefer you first watch these modules, write down some of the sticking points, and then when we get on the call, we have one hour to just go through it and you know, unstick you so you can keep going and be a lot more profitable than you are now. So that's it. I hope this was super helpful to you. This is the summer. Um, really, honestly, summer does not need to be slow. You might need to work a little harder, but you just have to do something. The patients are still out there, I promise you. So please do yourself a favor. Get morepatientsacademy.com. And then this summer, actually set up um, some block time at staff meetings and go through each of these. They're 30 minutes long. You can see the slides and decide how can you perfect your own practice so you really stand out from the others. Okay, I hope this was helpful and I will talk to you soon.